Hello, I'm Liz Zorab and this is By The Farm. And today, we've still got an escapee problem. Well, I started my day with a nice surprise. Uh, not only had Mr. J made me a cup of tea, which he does most mornings, uh, but he'd also been out uh, and let the uh, chickens and turkeys out this morning. So I had quite a leisurely start to the day rather than <laughs> leaping up out of bed and uh, racing to <laughs> get my brain in gear enough to uh, let the birds out cause, so I could sit quietly and enjoy my cup of tea and just uh, spend a few minutes getting my head together, which was very nice. So after Mr J had gone to work, I let the ducks out and uh, did the rest of the morning chores. Last week, Mr J and I uh, fixed the poultry pen behind us uh, because one of the turkeys, or two of the turkeys, but mostly one, uh, was jumping up onto the top of it and then getting onto the shed behind uh, and wanting to roost there overnight, which meant Mr J and I were stood on uh, chairs, <laughs> like these ones here, uh, and ladders, uh, trying to coax it down off the shed roof. And that worked for uh, about four nights, I think it was, maybe five. And then the night before last, uh, one of the other turkeys, the girl, uh, got up onto, uh, onto this roof um, and resolutely wanted to sleep up there. So, so we coaxed her down. But last night there was her uh, and the black feathered turkey uh, up there. I managed to get him uh, and he went off to bed. But she jumped up onto the shed roof and from there flew up onto the roof of the chicken palace. Uh, and there is absolutely no way we can reach them up there. So our covering over of this walkway uh, hasn't really worked properly. And I think part of that is because between the shed and the chicken palace, there is still a gap. And we knew that there was a risk that one of them would go up there. But now I need to do something about it. So my plan is to take one more of these mesh panels, carry it through to that gap and somehow fix it across that space, uh, making sure it's high enough that we can walk underneath it. I'm hoping that this will stop her uh, and him from getting out. Hello Monty, are you coming to help as well? So as always, uh, everything is done on a temporary basis on the grounds that we will be rearranging all of this uh, before too very long. When we first started putting things up, uh, it was just because we didn't know what we were doing. So we thought we'd leave it temporary until we kind of had got to, to grips with <laughs> what we wanted to do. Uh, now we know we're going to be changing stuff around. So I don't want to do anything too permanent here. Uh, but what I want to do is try and get this piece of uh, grid up uh, so it's resting on the roof here uh, and on the panelling that I've already put in and I'm going to have to fix it uh, to uh, the side of the palace here somehow. There are two ways that I can think of to do it. Uh, one is to use little cup hook uh, or little hooks uh, in this and the other way is to put a piece of battening along uh, and rest this on the top of the battening. Um, I'm only going to rest it on the roof and I don't want to fix anything in here that's too hard to move because if she's not getting up in this corner here, she's getting up somewhere else and we will need to be able to uh, access <laughs> this space tonight if she's up on top. This is looking quite promising. So on a temporary basis, uh, I've popped it onto a hook uh, in the wall up here that's also holding the uh, existing panelling. 
Uh, it's resting on the roof of the shed all along that side. There is a gap uh, up here uh, which I can close up using some baling twine. Now I would use cable ties but as we might need to access this tonight uh, if she does still manage to get out, uh, baling twine just tied in a couple of knots would, would be much easier to undo. So the only part of this panelling that isn't supported um, is this far corner um, and I could very easily uh, put some battening along here just to support that corner and then hopefully uh, it will stay up long enough for us to see uh, whether she's still in tonight or they are still in tonight uh, because I think they're escaping by jumping onto this support here and up onto the roof. Uh, if that's closed in then maybe they won't be able to do it. There is, uh, there is a small space at the far end that they could squeeze out of. And of course the other option is uh, that they are jumping the fence that we uh, improved the height of last week, uh, somewhere down there and m working their way around in a circle back to here. I'm gonna use a piece of the pallet wood that I stripped down the other day. Uh, Mr. J pulled the nails out of it, so it already has holes in it. Uh, obviously it's repurposing wood, uh, which we like to do and I'm hoping that this one piece will be long enough and if not uh, we'll do two uh, and if needs be I can do them in a, in a double layer so one on top of each other so that instead of the, the uh, grid sitting on something this deep uh, it will be sitting on something twice as deep which I would guess would be nearly an inch. I'm just going to play it by ear uh, and see how I get on. If you're enjoying this video uh, please give it a thumbs up uh, or a comment or both and if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing to the channel. I have wondered whether one of the reasons the turkeys even look to get out at, that, at the point that they are going uh, is because it's not covered with green netting. Uh, obviously it hasn't been covered at all up until now but I wonder if they'd even look uh, if that walkway uh, that I've just put the grid over was also covered in green netting uh, like the rest of their covered pen. Now I have got some of that netting so I think I might roll some green netting uh, over the top uh, just to dissuade them uh, that little bit more from even attempting to escape. Well that's it from me, it's um, starting to look like it's going to rain. So I'm going to go inside and get on with a few jobs there. And so, wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one. And I also hope you'll join me again tomorrow.